Hello, oh, yeah. hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I kind of had a little bit of a false intro there because I was uh, thinking to myself, hey, wait a minute, I've got to alt tab, randomize a character, except. Slip, slurp. Um, chat has asked that I play as the robot, so I guess we will just play as the robot instead of specifically specifying our characters. Or randomize. Well, I mean, we did, uh, you know, I said the exact opposite thing I meant to say. We did specifically specify our character. We're not randomizing our character. <laughs> and then after this one, honestly, we'll pro probably just play as the Paradox, because I'm, I'm a big fan of those Paradox runs, now that I remember that they were actually a thing that I was doing previously in my, in my previous life of Gungeon. Getting those random starting items, which can give you such cool synergies, like a gun, and the pilot starter pistol. Oh boy, I do love me a good pilot starter pistol. Table tech shotgun. If it was any good, I would take it, but unfortunately, table tech shotgun kind of sucks, so I think that's gonna be a, uh, I think that might be a bit of a pass. You never know. Brunk. I said it last time, I'll say it again. I hate that we can't use that HP. Anyways, it's a new day. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. It's a new day. It's a new stream. It's a new me. It's a new you. I'm having a lot of fun continuing to play Enter the Gungeon. Played some good Spire the other day. Had like some fun runs. I I'm, I love Spire, and I think I love Spire more than you know Monster Train. I think I've gone over this in the past, but it's just a well more balanced experience. But uh, I do hate the Spire runs where I just get unbelievably lucky. And in the back of my head, I have to attribute my success to the luck factor, to the fact that we've gotten like perfect artifacts or cards to make the run work, good RNG on the draws and everything. But you know what? I, I'm still the one who played the game to discover the, the you know, method of victory on those runs. So I can't just say that it's all luck and no skill because it's only mostly luck and hardly skill. But I'm still having a good time with it. Maybe we should do the uh, Spire Daily at some point. I don't know what people's opinions are on the the Spire Dailies. I tend to have a, a good time on them uh, until it's a Spire Daily where I get no cards and then I'm like, well, this sucks. It's harder than A0. I have strikes and defends in my whole deck. But I guess it all definitely just depends. Quote, unquote, asterisk, star, TM. You know what? Don't even need to use my pocket coolant. And then what else did we play recently? We played a little bit of Risk of Rain. I had a lot of fun with that, checking out the the DLC. Nonsense, he just shot me immediately. Well, I did shoot him immediately, so it does make sense. Checking out the new DLC nonsense and uh, the new character in Risk of Rain. And people really seem to, to like that game all of a sudden again. In the past few days specifically, there's been a lot of, of clamor for it, mostly from Mud and Quark because they just really, really like playing video games. <laughs> well, you know what? I guess I do too, otherwise I wouldn't be here, I, I, I suppose. Okay, please die. Make this a little bit simpler of a fight. I hate taking one damage on the Trigger Twins early, but it is like the hardest fight. Although, the way in which I got hit was incredibly dumb and annoying. Basically, I just stood there. <laughs> But I'm not. I'm not. I'm never expecting the enemies to attack that quickly, and so when they do, it's always a surprise. All right. Hey, hello, welcome, Milt Thompson to the stream. Just Sheriff as well. Hello, hello. Hmm. Yo, I love a good elephant gun. Is a great start. And uh, I think there was a secret room that we actually did find. Was it this one? Yeah. Now, no keys. Um, oh, wait, there's another key in there? So actually, screw that no key nonsense. We actually have four keys. Oh, there it is. I, I guess I just thought it was debris. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Mega hand. I mean, we'll save that for a little bit later. So this is gonna be a passive, active. It's a passive, and I have to admit, ghost bullets. With the build that we have right now is amazing because of the fact that we have, um, 
uh, Mega Hand, which we, we love the fact that it pierces, and uh, Elephant Gun too. We can get a little bit of additional damage done to enemies behind the enemy we're shooting, so good synergy. <clears throat> Rye White says, I hate Elephant Gun. Oh wait, no, it's the Blunderbuss. I like Elephant Gun. I mean, Blunderbuss is horrible, yes. And Elephant Gun is good, yes. Elephant Gun is a fantastic starter weapon. Well, we're not really starting, but you, you get what I mean. You get what I mean. I like that it can even shoot through tables, which is uh, pretty cool. The shotgun can welcome. How do you people get these badges? <laughs> Robotic lettuce just says subscriptions. That is very true. The shotgun kin was actually uh, watching JMC stream a little bit of Enter the Gungeon like an hour ago. Well, actually, he might still be streaming Enter the Gungeon. JMC, Junk Man cometh, one one seven, playing a little bit of Gungeon on his own, trying to warm up for uh, some BCDD twenty T runs of his own. I I think. He was playing a run. Uh, the run that he played, he had Gold Amulet, Table Tech Blanks, Elder Blank, the Blank Man who gives you double blanks or blank active items, that guy. Uh, he had Chaos Amulet, lots of coolness, uh, great weapons like the Particulator, all that nonsense. So he basically had just an incredibly strong run. Statistically speaking, our run won't even be as strong as his was, but uh, also, you know, we're playing on turbo mode, he wasn't, so that's the true meaning of Christmas right there. Only true Gungeoneers play on turbo mode. But it was, uh, it was fun. I, I always enjoy watching other people play Gungeon because you, you learn about yourself by watching others, you know? You learn about the things that they're doing that you could be doing, and also at the same time, it's it's fun to watch other people uh, go through it in their own way, in their own style. It's the the fun of, of watching other people play games, I think, is that you get to see someone else's perspective and someone else's style, which is uh, a lot of fun. Okay, you know what? Let's do a quick... Secret room check, which we did find. Unfortunately, the chat, the chest is not a mimic and locked, but you know what? Fair enough. I've yet to, I've yet to catch that guy do a, um, a BCDD 20 T run, but I hope to at some point. Please. Can't help but notice that we're not piercing with the Mega Hand. The reason for that is that um, when you kill an enemy and they turn into a corpse, it technically hits the bullet again. And piercing shots only give bullets one piercing. So when you kill an enemy, they turn into a corpse. Your shot hits the corpse, which counts as the second hit, and then the shot goes away. It's an unfortunate little, little bug in the game, but... It does mean that maybe the Mega Hand won't be quite as uh, as potent as I was hoping it would be, because effectively it's not really doing anything. You know, it's not giving us additional kills per shot. I mean, unless it you know pierces ah you jerk, unless it pierces one of those mushrooms and doesn't kill him in one shot. But it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Maybe we should. Uh, not worry so much about that piercing shot then, or at least maybe just about using the Mega Hand, because we're still getting good value out of the uh, the Uber Shotgun here. The Doom Shotgun. We should really just call it the Doom Shotgun, because it's like a perfect Doom double-barreled shotgun. <laughs> I mean, that was definitely my favorite weapon in uh, in my, my Doom uh, 2016 Doom Eternal playthrough. Then again, it was probably less because it was a shotgun and more because it was also a grenade launcher attached to the shotgun. That's more my style. Da da dun dun. The sheriff says, also, should I try One Step from Eden? I mean, if you like card games, I think One Step from Eden is a fantastic game. I'm, I'm still debating, like, 
doing an actual series on it because it is uh, such a, a fun experience and it's kind of just right up my alley. It's right up my alley and I'm, I'm kind of interested in maybe picking up uh, another series at some point. I've had a couple of people say, you know, that would be fun, maybe a, a loop hero. I don't know about loop hero though. Loop hero might be a little bit too grindy after a while. That could be fun. Okay, so Deckard is probably bad with our piercing shots, but we'll take it nonetheless. And then we can definitely get another key. And we can buy two keys actually. Uh, we should have definitely bought Disarming Personality first. Um, but this is gonna be a passive active. Yes. <laughs> yes, we will take this. And we will use it and we will get clone and we will clone and we will have the best run of all time. Now luckily this shot already pierces. Hmm. I thought that those blood yulons would not fire bullets if you hit them with the disintegration shot, but I must be thinking of another weapon. Must be another weapon. Because I, I thought that the disintegrator would mean that it doesn't create bullets on death, because if the enemy disintegrates, they don't create bullets on death, but yeah, it must be a different weapon. Was it like... Big Boy? Like if you hit him with the Big Boy, maybe they don't actually create bullets on death? I'm gonna need like a little bit of uh, of assistance on that one. A little bit of memory from someone else in chat or, or in the comments. Ogrim is still talking about Skull. Dude, one of these days. <laughs> one of these days when I actually do have the... Uh, the time. Actually, you know what? I do need to do some more. Let's look at recordings at, at some point in the near future. So that might be something we end up taking a look at. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay, let's get ammo. And then we still have the box. We're gonna use this right before we leave. And uh, I think we're just done with the floor. We only have five armor, but who cares? And uh, we're out. Weapons are fine. Pick up another piece of armor. No blanks remaining. Okay, hold on. We need to we need to talk about this for a minute because the first okay, we lost the old crest <laughs> because limit configure hurt us. <laughs> oh, I I did that in the wrong order. Um but I, I don't I don't want the reload stone, so I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. Oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me. Bri White says I lost a lot of five HP in that trap room on the robot. I also had an uh, armor synthesizer. Yeah, some of the trap rooms can be kind of annoying. One day you'll win your robot run though, Egg White. You'll be become the raw robot white. W raw white robot, what? Raw, how about Eggbot? Raw Eggbot. He's an egg. Bot. <sighs> Ogrim says, don't judge me, I attack the Pope Turtle. Turns out you can't be harmed. He just asks you to desist. <laughs> I mean, he's a big turtle. I would anticipate him being immune to your charms. I have, you may have noticed, upgrade my weaponry here. I'm tired of taking damage. As a result, I'm now using the Mega Hand. <laughs> that, you know, I, I can only put so much of the blame on the game for the uh, old crest being lost to Lament Configurum because I knew that that was a possibility. In my head, I just didn't consider it. Wow, and it's an early drop off too. That's disappointing. Oh well. Does piercing shots double hit big enemies like Blobby Lord? No! 
There's like a there's a delay on uh, when a shot can hit another enemy. It's like a quarter of a second or a fifth of a second or something. So if your projectile is slow enough and you knock back the enemy, you can hit it multiple times with a piercing shot. Otherwise, something like the Mega Hand is just gonna hit an enemy once. But sometimes it can still hit him twice if you do enough knockback. Very situational. Unlikely to be uh, something you can control that much. Gotta be careful of those red guys, cause or the blue guys rather, because they don't die in one hit. We might as well like double down on Lament Configurum because we've already taken damage from it. I don't love it, but I'll do it anyways. Hope that maybe we can get, uh, I mean hell, I would love to get Armor Synthesizer out of that because I feel like I would actually need the HP right now. I'll use Lament Configurum though. I'm not worried about, you know, losing all of my armor and then losing a run. If we lose a run, who cares? Though I'm still gonna try. <laughs> really, I just need to play better. <laughs> not getting that first floor flawless kind of was uh, extremely disappointing. Jerk! He's still in my ammo though. Why are bullet hell guys here? The bullet hell guys are here because of the active item we have, Lament Configurum. It summons bullet hell guys, and also has a chance of giving me an item. And someone earlier asked, does the clone have a higher chance of coming out of uh, Lament Configurum or anything like that? The answer is actually yes and no. This is good. Lament Configurum can only give you green, red, and black items. So I guess in theory, the clone does have a higher chance of spawning out of this. It's just, it's a weird way of, of thinking about it, but it is true. <laughs> Hello. I'll see you in a minute, man. You got, a, you got a problem coming through your shop in a second? Oh God, he's stuck. Well, if he's stuck, how am I supposed to kill him? Hey, come here. Hey, come here. I gotta like get behind him and go into the secret room. You see this? This guy's gonna get pissed off if I shoot in his shop. I gotta come back later. All right. Which means I'm probably gonna get surprised by a mimic chest in like two seconds when it comes down a corridor and shoots me in the back. Look in your heart, you know it to be true. I don't know who died, by the way. I love having faster enemy, or not faster enemy bullets, but faster my own bullets thanks to rocket powered bullets. Damage upgrade, easier to hit enemies. Sign me up. Now. Definitely the weapon of choice is the thing that can one shot the turrets. and also do a very good job of breaking the snake. Got him. Okay. Can't flawless. Trigger twins can easily flawless the, uh, the mimic died. <laughs> can easily flawless the uh, <laughs> uh, Amoconda. I'm like 90% positive that that was the mimic. That's hilarious. Hilarious. How are you not dying? Like, I was hitting you eight times. So I'm, I'm just gonna do a, a quick little walk because I, I don't want to teleport into the room. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. I, I wonder if walking far enough away just like broke, like freed the mimic because the hitbox calculation was, was you know, changed all of a sudden. Um, do we have a synergy with machine pistol? Raw Egg White says, the random heart drops when I play robot are increased by 200% in all caps. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past the game. I would not put it past the game. The heck? Death Square. 
the heck is a death square? What? Hey, a strange med, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? And ML Burke as well. Hello, hello. Damn, battery bullets, ghost bullets, and rocket bullets in this run. Well, we start with battery bullets because we're the robot. Yeah, maybe it is like a, a faster recharge or something. I don't know. Um, oh, no, you know what? I think it's dueling pistol charges the dueling laser. Like, if you hit with the dueling pistol, it gets a lot of charge on the dueling laser or something. That might be the case. Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take machine pistol. And we can't afford the shot grub, but I'm okay with that. I want the machine pistol, though, because if we get a synergy, it's an amazing weapon. And um, I don't really want to gun munch anything. Well, you know what? That's actually a complete lie. I want to gun munch the dueling pistol, so. Like, we we literally lose a synergy, but I, I do not care. And then for other munching, I actually think we'll dump the Deckard, because with piercing shots, it's almost useless. Although it is still a great weapon, we could just dump piercing shots. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Hopefully we'll increase the quality of the munch. You know, it's interesting at least. Maybe we can get the um, triple shot synergy with this, which I forget what it, it um, I forget what item you need for it. I like that bubonic lettuce says, Amaconda sucks. Raw egg white says, Amaconda ain't that bad. The, uh, the true dichotomy of Enter the Gungeon viewers. Amoconda sucks. Amoconda's easy. <laughs> okay. Incoming Makarov says Ogrim. I mean, if we got Makarov, I would be very disappointed because we put in um, a red gun, but we did also put in a brown gun. So I would understand. I wouldn't love it, but I would understand it. The shotgun kin says, Mind Flayer F tier boss. Mind Flayer is actually kind of tough. One big um, difficulty I have with the Mind Flayer is trying to remember uh, the two different Claymore attacks and remembering the differences between them. Because if you're going up against the Mind Flayer and you think the Claymores are, are walking a after you, you gotta, you have to dodge differently depending on which Claymore attack it is, and, and that's always a little tricky. Yo, our Mega Hand is mega good right now. I'm loving this. Also, there's Platinum Rounds. All right, that's pretty good. I will I will admit Platinum Rounds is, is Pretty decent. Probably worth losing the old crest. Although we could have still done it, keeping the old crest intact had I done it in the correct order, but you know, F me, I guess, right? So that was, um, I want to say, extremely top tier gungeoneering, and you probably don't even know why I'm, I'm tooting my own horn on this one. But I saw what was happening. I rolled into the explosive barrel so that the grenade wouldn't kill me. <laughs> and it wouldn't destroy the explosive barrel during my dodge roll. That's like, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to toot my horn too much, but I got to give myself a little bit of credit for that one. Backpack. Well, if we get an active item out of Lament, we can hold it now. I love having that easier aim. Shotgun kin, kin says, Mega Hand, we're like a Mega Hand. I get it. If there's anything to get, I get it. We'll just say that. Have we decided on if there's any other items in the game that change how your guns look, other than like fat bullets? And I'm not including the bug with, um, the javelin that makes it so that all of your weapons are very brightly colored. Oh good, heavy boots. Well, I mean, we have a shotgun. We have a few shotguns, so heavy boots is not that bad. Um, little bomber for free secret rooms could be good. Double vision is fantastic. Oh my god. And you know what? I love big boy 
because Big Boy will be will enable us to kill the enemies from Lament like instantaneously. So I'm gonna buy Big Boy. I can't steal it. So I'm gonna buy it, and now Lament can figure him into a Big Boy kills everything. Cryhard says Casey. I use Casey too much, which is really just my way of saying I don't want to use it right now. <laughs> Because we have Lament configure him. I, I want to build into this synergy. You know, I want to I wanna increase the number of times I can use Lament, make it safer to use. I want Lament configure him to be my, my bread and butter. I want as many S tier items as possible. I want to monkey's paw myself into an amazing run. Or a terrible run, one way or the other. I'll take them both. I should have just shot the guy on the left first. Or just not panicked. Helps if I can actually aim my shots too. When did we get last get a clone? I it, it has been months, I wanna say, since I have last picked up a clone. So I am I am ready, willing, and able. It's um Piercing shot synergy, which is not that good, but at least it's a beam weapon. Strange Med asks, how is Abe saving me 20% on car insurance? Um, basically, how it works is uh, take your current car insurance, uh, take off 20%, and send it to me, and then I will, I will save you that 20% on your car insurance. Might, might be a temporary savings, but at least it'll be a savings. Beautiful. And goodbye. That's essentially exactly what I want to happen all the times using this lament. This is gonna be a, um, what did we just pick up? I'll open it. We got a key out of it, and okay, you know, as fun as it would be to try to find a, a fairy for Ferdacula, I also like the run that we currently have, so I'm, I'm sorry, Bottle, get out of here. Another run, please. Okay, so we want probably Excalibur Dueling Laser. Let's see what boss we're fighting. It is the Mind Flare. Okay, so that's pretty good because it does destroy the claymores. I'm having a hard time hearing the charge of the um, dueling laser, but that was remarkably easy. Thank you, uh, uh, big boy. I forgot what your name was. We got the heroin again. <laughs> Dude, every run, Money roll. Every run, I feel like I'm either getting a Mega Hand, a Heroin, or both, and I don't know why. The game is extremely generous lately. The game is being extraordinarily generous with those. Maybe a little bit too generous, if you ask me. Well, that was still on screen for a minute. Little bomber, heavy boots. No, just give me the key. Already found the secret room anyways. Let's get the heck out of here. Bonic Lettuce says, every, every run we either get Narcotics the item or Narcotics the gun. Eh, we've only had like one or two recent um, runs with the, the cigarettes. In fact, I think the last run we had cigarettes, well no, the last run we had cigarettes, we used it. But the run before that we had cigarettes, we um, didn't use it at all, I think. Dude, I'm loving the shot speed here.
The shot speed is fantastic. By the way, right now, if anyone uh, wants to play Risk of Rain, Mud and Cork are starting up a new run. <laughs> I wonder if they lived or died. <laughs> I need a I need a run report, Mud. What happened, buddy? Yo, I'll take a stinger. We want heroin, and then probably something that's auto fire. Obliterated 13. Ooh. You're supposed to go fight the, the void boss. Oh god. Well, that was a little horrifying. Is that Gunther? Gunther? What are you doing, buddy? Long time no see, friend. Oh my god, it's the Gunther. It's the Goonthi. Yo, get out of here. You're still alive, huh? Next time, aim a little better. Dude, one of these days, Gunther, I'm gonna level you up and you will be actually friendly to me. And with platinum bullets, you're gonna murder everything and it's going to be fantastic. What's his name? Gunther. Gunther. A strange med says, rip Abe's finger. Yep. <laughs> I can feel it already. <laughs> the, the spam clicking, at least early, because he's not leveled up at all. Please get leveled up. <laughs> I need you to do more damage, Gunti. We're on a we're on a first name base. We're on a pet name basis, actually. That's why he's Gunti. This is going to be a long day. You know what? This should be an easy room for him, though. You got it. He's got it. Although I don't think I got credit for that room. I don't think he cared. Which is extremely disappointing because I care. Not bad for Rat Fink. So we've got um, better damage and uh, isn't it like bouncing shots? Yeah. Okay, this is not quite fantastic. I don't know how I didn't get hit on this room. That was all right, I guess. He's one day. What determines when he levels up? He levels up as you do damage um, and as you clear room. So basically, uh, eventually he will just tell you that he loves you and then actually be a good gun. Until that happens, you're just kind of forced to clear rooms with him until he, he accepts you. As your, you know, your lord and savior. <laughs> we want this. And we want this. Lament configure is not charged yet. We're just gonna we're gonna wait on lament because that's what we're gonna be using uh, big boy on basically at all times. Oh good. You know what? Let's just do it right now. Oh god. Watch for the ghost. He's on to you, on to your every move. Watch for the ghost. We just had helix bullets on a run, I'm pretty certain. <clears throat> okay. I have the bolster. You know, this would be a perfect time to pick up a uh, shrine and to put the... Uh, how cool would it be to put the last gun on the shrine? Or sorry, the, the the first gun on this shrine would be the last gun that we got on the previous beholster shrine. Top notch work, he's homing. I don't have to spam the attack button anymore. My finger is saved. 
I'll still get Carpal Tunnel, but it'll happen at a different day now. Dun, 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 dun. Camel B says, hello, just got here. How, is, how are firing so fast with Gunther? So it's not, it's not platinum bullets. Because if you hold down the fire button, this is as fast as you fire. But if you click the fire button, you can fire it as quickly as, uh, as you can click. So this is, um, this is just one of those guns where you just want to click as fast as you can. That's why my finger's hurting. That's the joke there. And uh, now that we've leveled him up, though, he's doing a lot of damage. As a result, I don't have to click nearly as fast anymore. Because now he's killing things at a, at a decent rate. But yeah, you just um, you click to fire. I guess we're gonna go this way, even though I hate the room. Although we could just pop a blank on it, but it's really not that bad. Damn, bro, you a fast clicker. <laughs> you get when you got Gunther, you learn. You learn how to be a fast clicker. Um, you are a mimic, as usual. All right. Slower enemy bullets? Why, thank you. Whoa. Well, I mean, you are also a mimic now that I think about it, so. Sometimes I think a brown chest might not be a mimic if it's a, um, if it's a, uh, uh, um, uh, ra hidden rainbow chest? Which I've never actually found. I broke one once. That's it. And of course it's the wall. It's unfortunate that it's the wall because the wall means that we won't be able to, um, we won't be able to, uh, uh, I hear them, they're down there. With the wall, we will not, I got hit. <laughs> we will not be able to uh, get a free uh, item out of the mimic pedestal, because it won't exist as a mimic pedestal. <laughs> Look, it was a bit risky using Lament there, but I really wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to get an extra charge out of it. The more we use it, the more likely we are to pick up a, um, a clone or something, you know? What happens when a wicked mimic explodes? You get nothing. It just explodes. Duh. Wallmonger seems really common since Verdacula. I mean, it's um, Wallmonger and... Um, Kill pillars are the two most common bosses down here. It's really weird because you, you would kind of expect them to be a little bit less common. You would expect the high priest to be a little bit more common, but he really isn't. It's really hard to find the high priest. I haven't, I mean, I haven't fought him in a long time, it feels like. That priest, I haven't seen him in a long time, brother. Brother. Where do you think that secret room is? If there is one. But we'll take a, a quick walk around the park. Winch oh, you know what? The secret room might be in Winchester's room too. That's a good point. But also, yeah, let's not forget about Winchester. It's um, because there's no icon for him, because it's of a bug. I always forget that this guy even exists. So faster bullets and piercing shots might make this a little bit interesting. I need to I need to look at the wall. Oh my god, please stop. Okay. I just I just need to know where it bounces on the wall. Gotta be something like this, I think. Not even close. Without being able to see where it bounces, it's actually kind of hard to get that aim. Um, but we might be able to actually still get both of these. Because um, the right head goes all the way down. 
We just gotta figure out the aim. It should be right there. We can do it, we can do it, just wait. Might take a minute. I almost had it. <laughs> I almost had it. I had the timing on the on the, the right head, but not on the left head. The left head. Alright. Um let's get the heck out of here. Shot of the century. I mean we almost had it. Um, you know, let's go up and around real quick. Just look for that secret room and then we'll Oh you know we already found it. I'm dumb. Let's go. Let's go to RNG. I want more charges on Lament. I also do kind of want more money, so. Uh, there's a lot of weapons here that we don't need, though. I mean, in, in theory, we don't need any of these weapons, so, you know, dump the Crestfaller, dump the Void Core, dump the Machine Pistol. Beams are still nice, but we can dump the Rattler, the Helix. We can dump Crescent Crossbow, Elephant Gun. I'm gonna leave myself with a few good weapons. And then for items, we do not need the Flawless anymore. A strange Med says, no, the crossbow, my beloved. <laughs> you know, I guess we could have kept it and munched it, but what do I care? Secret room is where the secret room is. I get it. Abe, your malaise tier has increased, by the way. This is a strange med. Dude, when is the um, that update coming to um, Dead Cells? I still need to make sure I get a copy of all of the current uh, versions of the game. Because they're going to be uh, removing some of the uh, old versions from Steam because they've hit the limit of uh, the number of old versions they can have. I gotta remember to actually do that one of these days. E.g. like tonight if I can remember. I'm just waiting for that bank update, man. Where's bouncing bullets when you need them? Dude, bouncing bullets would be amazing. We've got homing shots, now we've got backup shots, which are not really uh, particularly effective. Probably soon, yeah. I suppose that's right. I suppose that's all right. I mean, we can still fire quickly. <laughs> we don't have to fire slowly. I'll take that. Verdeco says, I kind of want all lead maidens to have the fridge skin. <laughs> Whenever I, I see the lead maiden here, I, I always forget what it is because I don't expect it to be a fridge. Also, like, I don't understand why it's a fridge, because the Lead Maiden is all about pain and suffering, right? When I see a refrigerator, I do not think of pain and suffering. I think of deliciousness, comfort, warmth, uh, well, I probably think of cold, but, you know. When you put food on the stove, it turns into the warmth. Martin, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's do this. Um, what do we have? We have a lament. We've got our guns. I mean, we're just gonna go to town, really, right? Should probably use my blanks. I'm focusing way too, way too much on fa firing fast with lament, which seems unnecessary. Rather with um, Gunther, which is very much unnecessary. Pop a couple of blanks, keep your HP up. I'm actually surprised that our HP is doing as well as it is, but since we picked up Gunther, we haven't really taken too much damage on, on rooms, have we? Got him. Da -da -da. But Monica Lettuce says, when I see a fridge, I think of a 3 a.m. shredded cheese and cold. <laughs> Were you just eating cheese at 3 a.m.? 
At least put it on a freaking quesadilla or something. Well, that's some good weapons. Hell yeah, Makarov synergy. <laughs> Try to fire as quickly as you can. Let's get out of this floor. Connie, welcome. Right, you still start an hour early. Connie, do you um suffer the neg penalties of daylight savings time soon? Or for the next six months are we gonna be one hour apart now? Because I don't understand the daylight of the savings personally. I don't understand the rules about who's uh, affected by it and who's not. I do love turning everyone into a, a trash enemy. Including that, you know, annoying invincible enemy who uh, killed me on one of my previous runs relatively recently. I forget which one, though. That's pretty fun. Gonna switch tonight, we're a week apart. It's been two weeks, right? I think it's been two weeks, so. All right, so after this week, it'll be, a, an, an, I'll be an hour ahead again. It's very interesting that it is just so apart temporarily. By the way, we picked up an item that we have absolutely no need for because we're never going to need a key ever again. We also have 400 bucks, so we should be able to buy anything we want from the shop. I'm hoping we can get some good stuff here. I shouldn't be using ammo for this weapon, though, because I actually do like the Excalibur. Go Team Gungeon! Right, you're a mimic. Gaming time, welcome. How you doing today? You have a nice Sunday. I am having a good Sunday. You wanna know why? Because I'm playing Enter the Gungeon for all you wonderful people out there. That's why I'm having a good time. <gasps> Fire! I do get a little bit spammy when I'm using Gunther, because I, I do focus on firing as quickly as possible instead of trying to like dodge. Ooh, Full Metal Jacket though is real good for this upcoming boss fight. We will definitely grab that before the fight, but until then we don't need it. Martin says, the hell is a daylight saving? If you don't know, don't ask. If you don't know, you don't wanna know, buddy. Please let me charge this and then this. You lived? I guess sometimes they do spawn far enough away that they do live. I can't believe he lived through that. I just, I sprayed and prayed into his face and it wasn't enough. That was bad. <laughs> but still for, um, for taking a lot of damage in bad situations on this run, we're still like in it. There's our, um, Our fallen soldier, the Andrew Key. I guess I'm just not gonna go back for it. <laughs> Again, just walk directly into the bullet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop claw gripping my my uh, uh, mouse here. I'm gonna go to neutral hand position. 
It gives me a, a convenient excuse as to why I keep just walking into bullets. Goodbye. Those poor, poor tables. You're a mimic. We've got like the best synergies for if we had a lot of cool guns like Gunbow and BSG and Particulator. Maybe one day we'll find the cool guns in the gungeon. Um, so we wanna grab this, and we'll grab this, and then we'll go. I guess we could grab like the RPG. Do you think it's do you think the RPG has a good synergy with anything that we have? Buster gun It's the We've done it! No. It's reload does damage. Does a burst. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. Not as good as we wanted, but it's still pretty good. Um, I actually think I'll just use Excalibur here. Or maybe the um, the Stinger, because we get we get three missiles every time we, we fire it. One front, one back, one reload. That's a lot of bees. It's a lot of bees. He's also jammed. Right, slow our enemy bullets. Still might be an enemy down in the tunnel, but hopefully I got him. Should not have used a blank there. Oh! It didn't blank the bullets! I got hit! <laughs> you jerk! I guess I'm fi I'm firing explosive shots, which is why it didn't destroy the bullets. I have flight now, though. Let's go grab this. So we should we should not have used the stinger because using the stinger uh, is interrupting the big boy explosions, which is very unfortunate that that's how that works. Yet, yet another of those like little gungeon things that I wish just didn't exist. Because it, it makes actually no sense for one weapon to affect another completely different weapon's ability. Ugh. <sighs> Ogrim, I'm sorry I did not remember to say how do you like bees nuts, even though we did have a lot of bees. In fact, we had a lot of bees. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's move on here. Lament, you gave me flight, I appreciate it. Now give me a clone so I can loop and then have LJ on my butt for the, for the rest of the run. I mean, if, if we had LJ on our butt, then we would have, well, I mean, that doesn't actually matter at all. But if we had LJ on our butt, we, well, sorry, if we looped, we would have all of those mimics and mimic pedestals. We would have curse, maybe more wall mimics. We would just get so many items and we could get like bouncing shots. We could find like a secret room with four chests that can give us like quad flak bullets and we'll crash the game. There's so much that we could do. So much to see, so much to do, so much to break. Down here in the Gungeon. Go Team Gungeon, you should just like shut up now. Okay, gun, like yeah, I get it, you're leveled up. You know what, I hate ghosts. I'm not afraid of no ghost, I just hate ghosts. I'm afraid of this guy, though. I 
I like the um, the reload damage you get on the Excalibur. It really helps you save ammo. We should still just be using the Gunther, though. You know what? Come over here, guys. Hey, Macho Libre, welcome. Robot plus Gunther, yep. By special request, we played the robot. We picked up a nice early lament. It's been paying out. Just, I'm just waiting for the clone, man. I've been begging for a clone for far too long. The game has refused to give me a clone. We should have really done this in the next room. But the game has so far refused my demands, my requests. Please, please. Oh, this is one hell of a room. You know what? Good room, good room for this. <laughs> hey, Martin, thank you for the resub. I actually thought I summoned LJ. Miss me, I did. One of these days we have to play more uh, Risk of Rain because I know you're a big fan of the game. And I played a little bit with um, Mud Quark and Latem last night and it was a load of fun. I should really play more of it in the future. I'm gonna try to. So you're definitely invited. We should really do like a um, subscriber game night where we just play like Risk of Rain or Elden Ring Invasions. Yo, that would be a lot of fun. I think that would be a, be real fun to do. Specific game night and we can just have like a, a fun time depending on what people's, uh, what people's schedules are like. We can uh, find out what Twig Breaker is doing, play some uh, Portal. We can play Vermintide with a strange med. Please. You've gotta go. You've gotta go. You have got to go. That strange med just says woo. <laughs> Well, I say with subs because, like, obviously I would like to try to encourage people to subscribe. Of course, of course. But we'd, we'd TBD it. Whoa, I just rolled into it. Also, I picked up a uh, a charmed bow for that, that hit. Also, I summoned LJ. <laughs> no, no, no. Well. That was a, a, a pretty bad drop. But hey, you know what? Maybe we'll actually get more charges now that we're super cursed. Give me more charges, give me more clone. Please, please! Aid more of a capitalist than Krusty Krabs. Hey, I've, oh, hey, I've read the, um, the, um, what is the name of that subreddit uh, that it's like Garfield Horror? I've read the Garfield Horror on uh, Krusty Krabs. I'll take your key. I'm sorry, John, thank you. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry, John. Can't let you do that. I hit the wrong key. I apologize for the map flash. I didn't mean to flash my map at you. God, I just love that one-two punch, though. I gotta stop claw gripping. I know I said I was gonna stop, and then I started doing it again. My hand is getting a little sore from this. <laughs> As expected. Really? No other drops? Like, give me a chest or something. Hmm. 
You know what, this is a very good opportunity for this. I do not want to have to deal with, um, wow, that was such a good use. We have so much of a chargeback. I don't want to have to deal with the uh, blobs that we're gonna be summoned, because there's always two blobs in that room. They're a big pain in the ass. I mean, as we get more curse, we are getting faster charges on Lament because it's uh, directly tied to the damage that you're doing. So, you know, we're us, we're trying to accumulate more items, more charges. Please give me a. Uh, please give me a uh, a clone. This guy's still alive. Hello? Oh, we're done. Normally there's like a, a reinforcement on that room. I was very surprised. Ogrim says, if you want the R34 version, it's I'm really sorry, John. Don't ask me why I know. <laughs> Oh, Crib says, go ahead, delete that post. Delete me too, please. I've said enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta I got put something in the Gungeon list. Let me alt tab real quick. The list, the list. LJ, get out of here. I mean, we're getting close, I think, to another payout out of the Lament Configurum. But we are gonna have to fight our boss now, so let's do this. Let's go. I believe, I believe! Now what I don't believe in is that we're gonna kill all the enemies with every single pull of the trigger on that big boy, so we gotta do some of the work ourselves. You know what, just do this. You know what, at the very least, just make sure that you've killed all the enemies behind you with the big boy blast, so you don't have to worry about anything trying to uh, hit you from behind. And that's frost bullets, which I like. At least it'll maybe freeze the uh, extra enemies, unfortunately, but not the boss. I hate to say it though, I don't think we're gonna get another charge. I think we are actually, I think it's impossible to get another charge, which means that this is not going to be a, uh, clone run, unfortunately. Why, why, why? I just ran into that guy. Not smart. I, I used another blank, I think. <laughs> They're automatic because of um, Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, and that was just a bad roll. I mean, we'll, we'll have a shot, but we're probably not gonna get there. Please, please! Where's my clone? I want there to be another me. I'm not ready to leave this world! Oh my god. What did you fire? Did you fire a rocket at me, you bastard? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely not gonna get another another charge, but we'll still try. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lich. It was fun while it lasted. I love that he's like teal. That's a, a fantastic color. Go team, Gungeon. Oh, thanks, Lich. <laughs> 
Maybe he is just trying to, to help, you know? M you know what? He's undead. He's gun dead. The bullets probably heal the gun dead. He's trying to help me. He's trying to be a good guy. I'm the baddie. Oh my god, we've discovered it. Anyways, good run! Wish we had that clone show up, but we still had just a, a, a ton of everything that we needed. Good damage, good guns, platinum bullets. A lot of fun. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me at any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.